Almost everyone is interested in gain or profit. Hi, I'm Pastor Dean Hemphill, and you're watching 10 Minutes of Truth. Today in our lesson, I'm going to teach about great gain. I'm going to read from 1 Timothy, the 6th chapter and the 6th verse. Listen, please, to what God said through Apostle Paul. But godliness with contentment is great gain. Now, the Word says something about great gain. We're always interested in how we can gain something, profit something, and benefit our lives. Today, we're going to study from this, uh, this scripture about great gain. The reference to great gain is in verse 6. It says, Godliness with contentment is great gain. The word godliness means holiness, and contentment means self-satisfaction. Let's read the verse like that. Holiness with self-satisfaction is great gain. Holiness Without holiness, no man shall see God. And self-satisfaction is something that everyone is seeking after, how you and I can be satisfied with ourselves. God says through Paul, that is great gain. When you live a life of holiness and you have self-satisfaction in your life, that is great gain. You realize that many people do not have self-satisfaction, not satisfied with their own self, and yet we live it ourselves 24 hours a day. We cannot leave ourselves. Great gain is godliness and have self-satisfaction. Listen, none of us are perfect, never will be in this world, but to be satisfied with ourselves is something that's very important. The verse says it's great gain. When a child of God is self-satisfied, it's great gain. So how, you, how can we be satisfied? and have this great gain is simply every day of our life realizing that we'll never be perfect. We'll never have everything right. At the same time, prayerfully seek after God, study His Word, and ask the Holy Spirit to lead our life, that you and I can have what's called self-satisfaction. I'm going to give you now a reminder of three things that's brought out in the text today. I'm going to read now from 1 Timothy chapter 6 and verse 7. Three things we have as a reminder. Number one, we brought nothing into this world. You realize when you and I was born, we brought into this world nothing. Paul says here from the Holy Spirit, remember, we brought nothing into this world. Not one single thing, when you and I arrive in the world, we bring with us. Another reminder in verse 7 is this, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. No U-Haul. We cannot send packages ahead of ourselves. We brought into this world nothing, a reminder, and from this world we will carry nothing, a reminder. Now in verse 8, And having food and raiment or clothes, let us be therewith content. So look at the picture. We brought into this world nothing. We can carry out of this world nothing. So God says through Paul, okay, just have some food and clothes and be content. Have self-satisfaction. Live a life of holiness. God says two words about this, great gain. You'll have great gain in your life when you live a holy life, have self-satisfaction, and realize into the world you brought nothing, out of the world you care nothing. Just thank God for food and clothes and there we'll be content. A simple way to live that many, many people never really comprehend or experience. A simple way of life every day. Thank you, Lord, for the daily bread. Thank you for the clothes on my back. I'm going to live a life of holiness with your help and your strength. I'm going to experience in my life today self-satisfaction. So I know I'm trying my best to live my life for you, and you know my heart. A great gain, a great profit you and I can have as a Christian. Let me go one step further today in our text. That's in verse 9. The rich must be aware of something. I'm going to read verse 9 now. It says, 
but they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare or trap, and into many foolish and hurtful lusts. Those who are rich, he says, be careful of traps and temptation and hurtful lusts, which drown men in destruction and prediction are eternal loss. Now, there are rich people today who have holiness and self-satisfaction and live for God. But many do not experience this. God says in verse number 9 again, Beware the rich will fall into temptation and a trap, have foolish and hurtful lusts, and will drown in destruction and eternal loss or prediction. Why is it then that so many people that are rich have this disaster? Because so many who are rich and have need of nothing, they think, don't realize the importance of holiness and realize the importance of clothing and food. Taking everything for granted, they will always have around them all that prosperity. God's not against rich people. He will save the rich and the poor. God shall love the whole world, not just a certain class of people. But he's, today our lesson is talking about great gain that many who are rich never experience. To have great gain is not to have a pile of money. To have great gain is not to have many houses. To have great gain is not having a lot of stuff. You see, great gain, again, in verse number six is, is having food and raiment and be content and live a life of holiness and self-satisfaction. That is great gain that the average Christian in our country and world today do not have. Simply, they're trying to have more, get more, say more, spend more, and do more. And every day of their life, live that way, they miss a wonderful day, a wonderful life. We have today the privilege from God's Word to have knowledge of many things. So today, if you're trying to find great gain, if you're trying to have profit in your life, the answer again is in 1 Timothy 6, 6. One more time, I'm going to read the verse. But godliness with contentment is great gain. You realize now it's not the stuff, it's not the things, it's not material things. It's just living a life with the Lord and be contented and have self-satisfaction in our life. This most wonderful treasure in life you can have outside of being saved is to live a life of holiness and have self-satisfaction and be contented with your life. It's something important in your life every single day. Now listen, as you serve God, you're going to prosper. You're going to have more. The more we give, the more that comes back. But never allow those things to drown out in your life what's really precious. And that is a holy life, and that's having self-satisfaction. Never let stuff rule your life. It's okay to have stuff. Don't let stuff have you. And ruin in your life the most precious gain you can have as a Christian. It's to have a life that is holy and life that is filled with self-satisfaction. Dean Hemphill is not, is not correct. I have in my life many things I do wrong every single day. I'll never be perfect. But my aim is every day is to live a life of holiness and with Dean Hemphill have self-satisfaction with God's help. That is great gain for myself and great gain for you. Until next time from Clark's Chapel Baptist Church, I trust you have wonderful days.